When you think terrifying criminal mastermind, you don't normally think of a woman. Of course, women are capable of everything that men are, but typically men are more prone to the violent, controlling, power-hungry behavior it requires to be a feared criminal. Men are more ruthless and able to inspire fear in their enemies, but sometimes a woman can do the same thing. So in this video, we are going to tell you about European most dangerous female gangsters. The video is going to be amazing, so make sure you stick to the end. Before starting the video, be sure to smash the like button and subscribe to never miss out on any of our videos. Griselda Blanco Griselda Blanco, also known as the Black Widow and the Cocaine Grandmother, was a drug lord of the infamous Medellin cartel and a big part of the Miami-based cocaine drug trade during the 1970s and early 80s. She was an integral part of the Miami Drug War or the Cocaine Cowboy Wars. She was making $80 million a month with her countrywide distribution network, and she wasn't afraid to use violence against her competitors. Multiple attempts were made on her life until she was arrested in 1985, and she continued to run her drug business from prison. Rafael Adalterio When Nicola Pianese was murdered in 2006, his wife, Rafael Adalterio, nicknamed a mission or big female kitten in Italian, took over the Camorra clan. This wasn't a scary position for her to take on, as Rafaela was no stranger to violence either. She was even shot three years into her position as a leader and survived. The reason for the shooting was rival gangs targeting her over her control of lucrative drug cartels in the crime-ridden southern city of Naples. Rafaela was arrested in 2012 on charges of extortion for robbery and dealing drugs and possession of illegal arms. Charmaine Roman when Charmaine Roman was arrested in 2013, authorities believed she was somehow involved in a Jamaican drug trafficking ring. But they figured out pretty quickly that Roman wasn't just involved, she was in charge. Prosecutors alleged that Roman's group brought thousands of pounds of marijuana into Florida and had a reputation for doing business violently. Roman was in charge of bookkeeping and was laundering most of the drug money through a local casino and a business called Sure Thing Investments. She had been living in the U.S. illegally for 20 years when she was charged with racketeering and marijuana trafficking. Melissa Calderon At just 30 years of age, Melissa La China Calderon had become the top worker for the Sinaloa Cartel, Mexico's most powerful organized crime group. She worked for 10 years as an assassin and quickly rose up the ranks due to her ruthlessness. She later formed her own cartel and garnered over 300 followers who dominated parts of Mexico. She often posed in photos with her many guns and is said to be responsible for approximately 180 kidnappings and murders, after which Calderon is said to have dumped her victims' bodies on their family's doorsteps. In 2015, her fellow assassin boyfriend turned her into the police to receive a reduced prison sentence. Maria Lichardi was known as the big boss of the Camorra, one of the largest criminal organizations in Italy. She was born into a family of criminals, all her brothers, even her husband Camorra members. Throughout the Nenities, Maria expanded the heroin and cocaine drug trades and got the German family involved in the prostitution business. She bought girls from the Albanian Mafia, put them on the street, and kept them drugged so they wouldn't run away or become informants. Claudia Ochoa Felix Dubbed the Kim Kardashian of crime, Claudia Ochoa Felix sports bikinis and stilettos and just so happens to commit a few crimes along the way. She heads the drug trafficking hit squad Los Antrax, a Mexican gang whose assassins are some of the most feared in the world. She is known for living luxuriously and posting provocative photos on social media, with her gun collection making frequent appearances. Strong sources from Mexico say otherwise and the fact that many photos, including one of her son covered in a lot of money, have been posted and subsequently removed, only raises suspicion. Angie San Clemente Valencia Colombian Angie Valencia was enjoying the high life as an internationally acclaimed model until she was arrested on drug trafficking charges in 2010. When Valencia ended her romantic relationship with a Mexican cartel leader, she went into business on her own leasing a ring of fashion models to smuggle cocaine between South America and Europe via Mexico, paying them $5,000 per trip for their services. Valencia to this day denies the accusations, saying that her Argentinian boyfriend was involved in drug trafficking, but not her. 
Anna Cristina. Anna Cristina is known as the Millionaire Madame, or the Soccer Mom Madame, and she may not be dangerous in the sense that she is a violent killer, but she knows the deep, dark secrets of some very powerful people, making her a threat to reputations everywhere. Cristina was arrested in 2012 for running a call girl business, and although she originally promised to never reveal the names in her little black book, her resolve started to waver under pressure from prosecutors. She served her time in prison and is now working on a dating website and a book, and she even hopes to have a movie made about her life. Let us know your opinion in the comment section below. This was all for today. Hope you liked the video. Do not forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Stay safe, and we will be back soon with another video.